Oh, one more message to tell you. Your federal government tells you, oh, they can't, they tell you when you go to them, because I've been through the nine steps, the 12 steps, of, like your AA alcoholic anonymous, but, but I've been through it with the crooked government or the drunk, drunk of the, the drug ass, drug asses of the government. That's what I call them. Like Foraker, uh, Jack Foraker, who's related to Anna Husfeld, runs the Haven House down at uh, uh, St. Augustine Highway down there off of uh, 213 right across from the old Brentwood golf course there's a bar it leads back to a bar but getting to it you know the government claims they can't step in on this and that the uh, the, uh, the uh, governor's office or the uh, are the uh, are your uh, congressmen or senators are your uh, president certain ones they claim they can't certain ones they do but they claim they can't do this and do that for you. They said the court, they don't step, they don't mess with judges or the courts or nothing. They don't have no power to do so. It's, uh, but they let the attorney general walk on your right, uh, step on you. And they let them call, uh, but the president and the fucking uh, Pentagon, a bunch of pricks down there, they let them call up the military and start, if they need it military, they issue orders into the towns to start dragging your young off like animals, slaves, like they claim China was doing the uh, North uh, Vietnamese were taking the South Vietnamese to make them fight and sign up for the military. Well, what's America uh, and America claims uh, the President of the United States claim they can't step in and do anything with crooked judges and politicians in your state. It's uh, a breach of uh, the uh, federal laws and a conflict with the uh, judicial system of the state laws. But they can fucking call up and order a draft to the public and order people out to be drafted into fucking war like slaves and gladiators like they force people in Vietnam. And these Vietnam vets are crying about it. And they're still letting the people being shit on. A lot of these Vietnam vets were a bunch of dummies. And I know a guy told me they were. He was in Vietnam. He said a lot of these a bunch of retards they sent off over there. But that's the sad part about it. Uh, America uh, pull shit like that. But to see hypocritical oath. And when a politician, you see one of the, where Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was on that, where they play that polywonk shell pack shit with the Navy. Look on YouTube, you'll find it. Oh, they exempt him from uh, uh, going through the initiation shit, right? It's a faggot game anyway, crossing King Neptune, the equator, all that bunch of queer shit. I know a guy told me they drug his ass off when I was in Hawaii. Uh, they forced him out there, they grabbed a hold of him a bunch of them, tied him up pulled his pants down, took a grease gun and shot all over his ass, out there smacking him on his ass, humiliating him, playing that stupid faggot game. It's like a uh, bunch of queers in the military, you know what I mean?